what's the best comeback to a, wow, you talk. You're always so quiet, response. Not mine, but, because I'm thinking. If they reply with, what are you thinking about? You reply back with, if I wanted to tell you I'd be talking. I have nothing to say. This is what I used to say. Then I kept getting prodded with, oh, you must have something to say, to which I replied, no, not really, I'm not a very talky person. Rinse and repeat for 10 to 20 minutes. Now I just claim I wasn't paying attention. I once teased a co-worker about being quiet. His friend said, maybe he's just quiet around you because you're ducking annoying. I was humbled pretty fast. Why aren't you? I was a very quiet kid, and whenever anyone in school asked why I was quiet, my response was usually, why are you so loud? Usually they'd leave me alone after that. Mine was, you're making enough noise for both of us. But I'm only quiet when I don't like the person, or just not in a talking mood. Right I was born mute on something, and then proceed to live that life so they never find out. To further this, at dinner with new acquaintances, point to the baked potato on your plate, and write on a note, or sign, what is this? Hum. Was raised by librarians. I'm an introvert who tends to be quiet, and this is literally true. My mom was a librarian, and my dad was the bouncer at the library, and that is where they met. Excuse me miss. Is this book bothering you? Widen your eyes and whisper, you can see me. Because they're all listening in a hushed tone followed by shifty eye movements. Then slowly reveal the layer of tin foil beneath your hat. You talk enough for the both of us. There's an anecdote about Calvin Coolidge, old US president, xenophobe, had a nickname Silent Cal. At a dinner party, a woman supposedly said to him, I bet my husband could get you to say more than two words to me. He replied, you lose. I had a child ask me if I ever talk, and I said, no, I don't talk, I think out loud. He spent months arguing with me that people couldn't think out loud. He would ask every adult he saw if it was possible, and they always said yes. My mother would occasionally ask my father why he didn't talk more in social situations, and my father would reply. Sometimes it's better for people to wonder why you didn't say anything, than to wonder why you did. As much as we want to be defensive when people say this, the reason why they point it out is because it makes them feel self-conscious. I've never really said much more than, yeah, I'm pretty reserved sometimes. They learn that it's who I am, not a reflection of how I feel around them personally. They see I've confidently owned it, and they end up respecting that. I definitely understand the frustration though. It's such an unwelcome shift of attention and this sudden pressure. Witty comebacks just read as rude sometimes though. Even though their question reads as rude to us. Care to join me? Followed by an uncomfortable stare. You should try it sometime. Jim Hal puts the camera. A 10 second stare followed by just turning away. I did this to a girl I work with because she said I smiled too much. Made me kinda bummed though. Cause after she said that every time I smiled at someone. After that I wondered why the duck I was even smiling for. It really irritates me when people say that to me, but lately I've just been answering, I'm just a quiet person, and people really respect that. The last time I responded with that, another person chimed in and said, that's okay, there's nothing wrong with being quiet, and I just really appreciated that. It's nice when everyone is civil about it. Edit. To clarify, I felt incredibly ashamed of being quiet my whole life, and was often looked down upon for it. So to have someone tell me it was okay to be quiet, felt really good to me. Although I do see how some people can find that patronizing, I personally thought it was a nice thing to say. I used to get this comment until I got out of college. Once you're in the real world, people usually stop asking about it, and just start assuming you're an asshole. It's kinda nice actually. I'm not that much of an asshole by the way, if someone starts a conversation with me, I'll be polite and talk with them. I just don't usually start them myself. My mic was on mute. But first you have to start mouthing this, with no sound coming out, then look concerned, then look relieved as you realize it's just that your mic is on mute. 
fiddle with the invisible switch on your mic, and then say, sorry, my mic was on mute. Why waste time say a lot word when few word do trick? Give them some fake sign language. All I know in sign language is, I love hedgehogs, had to learn it for a play, that usually shuts people up. Begin by extending your tongue between your lips and imitating the sound of flatulence. When your opponent attempts to resume speaking, interrupt them with another such demonstration. This one should be louder and longer than the first, and should also involve a bug-eyed expression. If your adversary still attempts to speak, unleash yet another torrent of imitation flatulence. This time, however, incorporate some awkward dance steps, in which you shift your weight from one foot to the other and make slow, random gestures with your hands. At this point, the individual who has seen fit to verbally attack you, will likely begin moving away from you. Follow them for an extended period of time, continuing your flatulence and flaunting performance. Take care to include elements of the surrounding environment in your activities. For example, take hold of a potted plant by its base, position it against your abdominal area, then gyrate your hips whilst making your flatulence noises in time to your motions. Maintain eye contact with your target throughout this process. Continue in these exercises until such time as your opponent begins to emit a wailing noise. Saline fluid may also be excreted from their ocular cavities, which would be another indicator of success. TLER, an answer offered by way of imitation flatulence. When my in-laws ask why I've been so quiet, for example at dinner, my standard response for 10 years has been, there wasn't an opportunity to get a word in. They literally seem to have one big overlapping conversation, cutting each other off at the end of every sentence and talking over each other. Active listening is not a thing in their house. I don't like to talk unless I have something worth saying. Has always served me well. It's not directly impolite, but it makes the other person stop and wonder if they're needlessly blathering. There are many witty and rude responses in this thread, which probably no socially functional person uses, but if by best you mean as improving the quality of the interaction, for me it always works, because I'm listening or because I'm a better listener than a speaker. This always seems to get the attention directed towards me, especially since most people prefer to speak more than to listen, and now they subconsciously know that they have someone that actually listens to them. Edit, just to clarify, because I've been receiving a wide range of responses. My comment was based on my own experiences. The few times that I've received this question, was either because I was introduced to a new group, or because I didn't know anything about the topic at hand. And adapted to my context, I don't need to be unnecessarily rude or snarky, especially when I genuinely like listening to other people. I would probably also use this when I have a lot of things on my mind, because I don't want to burden others with my problems. My initial jab at witty slash rude responses was solely based on this context. For people that are consistently quiet in a group, or absolutely don't care what others have to say, I'll also tell you what works for me fairly well, not hanging out with that group, or cutting the conversation short when there is no escape. When someone asks you out of the blue why you are so quiet, even though you're hanging out by yourself, can't say it ever happened to me or seen it happen to others, then it's indeed a bit intrusive and probably would warrant a rude response. I would probably ask them if they were expecting me to talk to myself. I've posted this before, but I was teasing a co-worker once about being quiet, and a mutual friend of ours piped up, maybe he's just quiet around you because he doesn't ducking like you. We laughed about it, but I sure as hell don't tease people about being quiet anymore. I said this to my mom once. She had a friendship that she had grown out of, but was committed to checking in with the person via email and Christmas cards. The other person never replied. This made my mom so very indignant. All she would do is pick at her metaphorical scab of hurt of no reply, when I asked why she was trying so hard to connect with someone she didn't like that much, or why she cared about whether this person replied or not. This conversation had a recurrence of once every six months for a couple of years, until I finally said, Mom, she probably doesn't like you either, not replying is a normal reaction for people whose relationships grow apart. She hasn't complained since. I wish I could come up with some sarcastic comment on the spot when it happens, like, 
you talk enough for two, or, because I know how to listen, but in reality I usually just explain that I have a weak voice and am not usually hurt, therefore get talked over, so I just give up on talking in general for that conversation. I'm also really shy around people I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'm just not a chatty person. 9 times out of 10, when someone says that, it isn't a personal attack. They're just trying to make conversation, and they go for the only thing they know about you, which is that you're quiet, because you never ducking talk to people, so they can find something to talk about with you. This isn't a retort, but I've often found that when a social group considers a particular person quiet, it's often because they are not listened to or spoken over in the group conversation, so they tend to stay quiet. I have a few beautiful friendships with people considered quiet by others, simply because I engaged with them, gave them space to reply, and listened to them. From that we realized that we had cool things in common, and friendships blossomed from there. People listening to reply, not to hear and engage with what the person is actually saying, is one of our biggest shortcomings as humans. We just don't pay attention sometimes. Sorry, I don't mean to be. What would you like to talk about? While maintaining a friendly tone, as in inviting a conversation. Not sure it's the right way to respond, but it's the best I've got so far. I never know how to respond to this. It's such an idiotic statement. Maybe I'm quiet because you're so remarkably dull, that your best conversation starter is asking me why I haven't started a conversation with you, 